Hello everyone. In this video, we will see a software tool which can be used for doing electronics practicals. It is a website by name Tinkercad, T-I-N-K-E-R-C-A-D. Using this Tinkercad website, you can design 3D designs as well as circuits. For that, for using this website, you have to log in. I have already logged in with my email ID. In this video, we will see how to design a rectifier circuit. Because we are designing a circuit, we will click on circuits. Then here, you click on create new circuit. This has this website has almost all the basic components which are needed for doing any simple basic experiments. Right side, these are all the components. Okay, here in the components scroll down menu, click on all. Then you will be able to see all the components. You have resistor, capacitor, scroll down button switch potentiometer like this you have all the components you have a keypad you also have sensors many components are available you also have breadboard oscilloscope function generator whenever you want any component simply type the name of the component here so for a rectifier as we know we need an AC source for that I will take a function generator so when I start typing the name of the function generator that particular component will be shown here click on that component and that component will appear in your space design space I'll take a breadboard so type breadboard We'll take a small breadboard. Then this components also when you double click on the function generator, okay, panel will appear where you can change its frequency, where it an amplitude, DC offset type of the square wave or, the, or sine wave let us say we will select sine wave so you can change as you change the properties on a normal function generator then I need a diode and a resistor so and it can be this is a diode and we can connect the component like we do on a normal breadboard then quickly let us take a resistor connect it here then to see the output I'll take a oscilloscope yeah now we'll start connecting for a rectifier and you hover the terminal it will show which is positive terminal which is negative terminal so this function generator positive Click on it and drag the mouse wherever you want to connect. I will connect it to this diode and just click it. Then from here, the, I want to connect to resistor. So click on this point, drag the mouse and click wherever it has to be connected. Then this end, other end of the resistor, I will connect it to ground. You can see here, when you Keeping your mouse on any line, it will show that these holes are connected. That is, these two lines are connected horizontally. Likewise, similar to our breadboard, if you hover your mouse here, it will show that all these are connected vertically. So, coming back to our circuit, this negative terminal and ground. Then, this is negative of the oscilloscope, I connect it to ground positive and connect across the resistor now our circuit for half wave circuit uh, half wave rectifier is done and if you want to change the color of the wire also you can change 
simply click on it here you can change it you can change it to any color you want now after connecting the circuit to see the output click on this switch you have a switch here start simulation we will see the output waveform here this oscilloscope also as our normal oscilloscope you can change the time base As you can see here okay once you change the time base you are able to see the output I'll adjust the value of the resistor double click on it Second, we will adjust now value of the resistance say 10 kilo ohm so now we can see the output of a rectifier as we know we will get only positive half cycles now here if i want to see the input waveform simultaneously i will take another oscilloscope and connect it directly to the function generator so this positive is connected to oops, positive of the function generator negative i will ground so this oscilloscope will show you the input waveform and this one should show you the output let us see the output waveform input i'll change the time base yeah so this is the input ac and the rectified output of a half wave rectifier so this is how you can do some simple electronics circuits using tinkercad website and see the output if you want you can have a multimeter here to measure the voltage also.